Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 12th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a world update on space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and anything else affecting our planet and humanity. Checking out the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms showing plasma filaments here, and as well, bright, fiery regions. No sunspots to talk about, but lots of plasma and a backside solar flare to talk about. That's right. Looking at incoming imagery here, and as well, outgoing. No major sun events thwarted our way. Although, even when you look at Lasco 2 and 3, you would think it was. And you shall see soon. Having a closer look here at the bright region, letting off some plasma filaments. Nothing major though. A couple small flashes and some energy coming from that fiery region. Looking at the multi spectrum here, large plasma rope developing in the southern hemisphere of the sun. And as well, lots of activity, apparently, on the backside. Looking here at another light, showing no coronal hole activity, except for northern southern pole regions of the sun. Pretty dark northern region. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, you can see a blast definitely did come around the disk, and that was a backside event as you will see on the ISWA space prediction spiral. Close look here at a large black backside flare. As you can see, it affected both sides of the corona there. And this is what it looks like on ISWA. I'm thinking it was probably a B-class flare, but I cannot confirm nor deny. Other than that, as I said, no major space weather to talk about. Our solar winds remain slightly elevated, sitting at around 380 kilometers per second. Watching the density, though, build over the last little bit. We're sitting up at about 9, but it did jump up to about 10.41 earlier in the day today and that was right around our large earthquake looking at our solar x-ray flux remains low as well as geomagnetic activity slightly elevated for tomorrow looking at schumann resonance for today a power of 11 very healthy spike there yesterday base frequency 7.8 quality today of 9.1 amplitude of 11. So looking here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the map doesn't even fit on the map. So I'm just going to add them here. And here we are now. We have the last 24 hours of earthquakes across the planet. As I did report that large 7.5 earthquake in South Sandwich Islands, there's been 35 earthquakes in the region and all 4.7 and larger. You can see a couple 4.9, 4.9 there just west towards the Georgia Islands. As well, looking at activity through South America today, all fairly deep, 111, 128 uh, kilometer depth through Chile. And as well, a 4.7 there and a 4.9 to report in Peru. So definitely some activity moving northward towards the Caribbean plate. 4.5 there reported yesterday in Nicaragua. And pretty quiet considering, but starting to pick up here in Puerto Rico, just recently there, 3.3 times 3 through Puerto Rico. And as well, pretty minor activity across North American plate. Have a quick look here. Across USGS, there was a pretty rare earthquake that was reported earlier today in Langenberg, or sorry, yesterday, Langenberg, Canada, Manitoba. Now let's just zoom in to exactly where this is. And yeah, go figure. 
right by two major rivers. You can see this is a pretty... Yeah. It's a, it's a fault line. These are fault lines, folks. So 4.0 to report there in Canada, Manitoba, as well minor activity up in Maine. Pretty quiet through central United States and as well California has been pretty quiet recently too. No swarms to talk about. Minor activity coming back to Yellowstone this week. A couple minor earthquakes to report through Montana. West Yellowstone 1.0. See, nothing major though. Definitely wanted to share the activity across the land though. Across our planet. And as well, another mysterious explosion. A 1.6 year explosion. Kapausen, Washington. And that's been happen happening in a lot recently throughout this region. Pacific Northwest is under a lot of pressure. Our planet is under a lot of pressure. And I'm going to talk about something here. Atmosphere compression earthquakes. And I've talked about it before. 33 earthquakes through South Sandwich Islands just today. After a large 7.5. Seeing the aftershocks, you can see this is a subduction zone and it has slipped. Something has given in the zone today. And we are under a lot of pressure. Well, let's carry on here and we'll get into it. Looking over Alaska, pretty active throughout the region as well. Large low pressure system in the region. And as well, a large one went through during the 8.2. We'll carry on here. 4.4, Shikatan, Russia. As well, 4.5 there in Japan, just north of that new volcano. Philippines yesterday saw a large 7.1 with a tsunami. 5.4 here in North Mariana Islands, just south of the new volcano in Japan. Solomon Islands, all islands, 5.0. And as well yesterday, Papua New Guinea. Deepest earthquake through the last 24 hours is 517 kilometer depth, 5.5 in Fiji. And that was earlier today before the large earthquake. 5.1 here as well, just recently, Western Indian Antarctic Ridge. Boom, boom, boom. So we have a lot of activity. This is what I'm talking about right here. Looking at Null School, showing the air. And this is the pressure. See that dark, dark region? That is the most pressure on our planet. 914 millibars. So this dark purple and red is pressure. Atmospheric compression earthquakes, I do believe happen. Look at this intense pressure that moved across Alaska and is now centered over Hudson Bay. I've been talking about it all week. It's ironic, and, but it's definitely a correlation. Look here at 5.0 reported Russia. Pretty quiet through the Indian plate and in China. Bam, Iran seeing a 5.0 today. 10 kilometer depth as well, followed by a 4.4. Greece continued earthquakes as there as well 4.1 and as well 4.2 there Romania and Santa Fe Spain 4.6 earthquake today and as well 4.5 there reported in Iceland and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet much love and have a plan everybody because earth is under a lot of pressure right now and just wait until we get into this Jupiter retrograde, which we are on the verge right now. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. And total action going on here. And as well, lots of subduction zone action. And way too quiet through the North American plate. I do believe we're going to have another subduction zone activation. And most likely will be Juan de Fuca. Cascadia subduction zone. So heads up, friends and family around the world. Get your bug out bags ready. Get your emergency kits ready. I think we're on the verge here of something big. 
having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, look at the most recent volcanoes getting updated. And you can see right away here, we're looking at Fukutuku Oko Noba, a volcano in Japan that just was alerted and has awakened just south of Japan and north of the Mariana Islands. Volcanic activity has been reported by the Volcanic Ash and Advisory Center, August 12th, or sorry, August 13th, 2021. So let's carry on here. Most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Shevelich in Russia, as well as Sabancaya in Peru, Nevados de Rules in Colombia, Recon de la Vejo in Colombia, Reventador in Ecuador, 227 active hazards across this app right now. Looking at Fuego in Guatemala as well. Nevadas de Chilean, Colombia. This is all in the last four hours, guys. Very active planet. Tsunami Watch went out there. Karamiski, Russia. Popopoketitl in Mexico. And Merapi, Indonesia, and as well as Swiss and Ajiba in Japan. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today, and we got one brand new one who has awakened. And we've got quite a situation developing across the Alaskan Peninsula. Scientists are quite worried about the three active now volcanoes across the Alaskan Peninsula. We have three tropical storms to talk about here. Tropical Storm Kevin and as well Linda, who are both East Pacific hurricanes and as well looking at tropical depression fred who most likely will stay a tropical depression heading into the florida coastline most likely hit will hit the panhandle but will enter with an eye of the hurricane right on the georgia border with florida we also have a tropical depression 16 to talk about who has a just come to life recently in the west pacific and then look at satellite imagery here. So atmospheric compression. Look at the size of this low pressure system that's spinning just south of all these earthquakes. Isn't that ironic? I'm telling you, this is all in correlation. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta. As in the long range, we've got a cool trend coming. But we're going to have a little heat wave here for the next few days. Moisture still heading north of us, but then cool conditions moving in. You can see that large low heading out and into Greenland later in the week. But some cool temperatures coming with these lows coming out of northern BC. A definite cool down here in the five-day forecast from these lows. They are coming from the deep, deep north. As well, looking across most of the United States, watch for daily evaporation rains through central and the tropical regions through Ontario. And as well, watch for Tropical Depression Fred to make landfall through the Florida Panhandle and then up into Georgia-Florida border for Tuesday. So making landfall uh, Sunday night and then Eye of the storm will be making landfall Tuesday. Overlooking at the Atlantic Ocean, big low pressure system is hiding underneath here and heading towards Europe. Long range forecast should be interesting, so stay tuned to the Daily Dew. Overlooking Europe, you can see most of the moisture here staying north until later in the week. Monday and Tuesday, you've got a pretty intense low coming and it's going to bring some cold temperatures, so watch for extreme weather from that system and as well interesting low pressure system hanging out over turkey and as well a bit of a relief for india over the next few days until the long range tuesday more rain coming in southeast asia watching an atmospheric river of moisture pretty much out of nepal and straight out to japan into the west pacific you can see heavy rains there through Japan this week. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia. 
and as well intense big low pressure system here through the Indian Ocean, which I've been tracking for a long time as well. Australia, high pressure ridges moving in, keeping you dry through the week. Tasmania, you've got some intense winds and rain heading towards you. New Zealand, in the long range, you will be affected by that same system, but you have got a very wet week ahead of you. And as well, cold. So watch for a lot of snow and higher elevations. Overlooking Pacific Ocean, no major weather systems heading into Hawaii, but you do have tropical remnants of a system here just underneath that high pressure ridge. It's going to be heading westward. But then watch Tropical Storm Kevin to roar to life. Most likely will be a Category 2 or 3 hurricane within the coming days. And as well, watch for an area of interest to follow there. Could have another tropical system developing. Overlooking South America, watch for extreme cold conditions through Chile and as well all mountainous regions through Peru. Some extreme cold conditions as you will see minus double digits and deeper with the wind chill. Overlooking the East Atlantic here, watching a system head out of West Africa. Could be a tropical system in the long range. Other than that, no much, not much to talk about except for snow. That's right, snow in parts of southeastern Africa. Long range forecast here showing some cold conditions and as well forecasting snow through higher elevations through the region. Coastal regions of Madagascar still receiving a lot of rain. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Much love to y'all, and thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's update. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Get in the comment section. Tell me where you're watching from. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world